I'm going to give 95 points to Josie, but from my expert knowledge of Swedish, I know that uh, it wasn't as funny until Paul translated it, so I'll give him three. So let's uh, move on now to a game called Gospel. This is going to feature all four contestants who like to step forward, and what they can do is to make up a gospel on the spot about, uh, well, somebody's hobby, or at least a hobby somebody's going to suggest now. Needle pointing. Needle pointing. Is that like sewing and uh, tapestry and things like that? So, sewing, I won't do too specific because needle pointing is fairly narrow as far as I know. So needle pointing, sewing, things like that, tapestries, a gospel about that sort of subject, starting with you, Josie, working down the line of happy faces. So away you go. <laughs> with me where I go. <laughs> Everywhere that I go. It's got needles, it's got cotton, it's got a little thimble, which is handy. If you lose a button when you're out shopping or something, you can sew it back on. I think it's a boon. <laughs> That's the last game until the points I see that but I think the very first time Paul Merton is this week's winner. So well done. <laughs> well done, Paul. And the prize the prize for winning is to read the credits in the style of my choosing. I'll actually do it in the style of a taxi driver, Paul. Okay, so it just remains for me to thank uh, JC Lawrence, Paul Merton, Julian Clary, uh, Mike McShane and Richard Branch the parents and me Clive Allison saying good night. Good night. <laughs> I never watched that rubbish Channel 4 and it Mark Levinson not having in the back of his cab Judy and Claire he's got a wife and three kids and we'll to that bloke <laughs> but if I wouldn't trust him to go down to the shops to me Chaz what? he could not write a picture of this cab but you alright for Peter Dilly? no I don't Daniel McDonald now I can't find cat what will he throw do you? Tell you what you got to laugh and you Joe Thompson I've had her in the back of the cab I've had them all Karen Jacks Maria Britton I've been married to three of them Diggy Pops I oh, bet she bloody does what's up because I know him Grand Grand Story Chris Ball he couldn't direct traffic that bloke Darren Patterson he could produce a packet of crisps. <laughs>